female watchdog will bite you, she will attack you, she will go for your throat, and together our property is safe, our children are safe, our grandchildren are safe, our church is safe. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel and to my church fellowship hall podcast series. And did he just say that their children are safe? <laughs> Some of you all may know I had my son Malachi at the age of 14. Okay, so you allow your 13 year old child, i.e. Sister Sarah Jakes to get pregnant at the age of 13, allegedly. <laughs> and you want us to think that your children are safe? <laughs> Well, I, I don't know what kind of safety that is in the blessed name of Jesus, but all right, Bishop. <laughs> and did I hear you right? I mean, did you say that your grandchildren are safe too? <laughs> because I can't see how you can be out here telling people that your grandchildren are safe when this grand jury indictment that I have not seen any news outlets report on reveals that your son-in-law, i.e. Cora Jake's husband, Richard Brandon Coleman, allegedly, quote, did then and there intentionally and knowingly cause the penetration of the sexual organ of A.C., i.e. your granddaughter, Amari Coleman, a child who was then and there younger than 14 years of age by the defendant's fingers, <laughs> end quote. And, quote, did then and there with the intent to arouse or gratify the sexual desire engage in sexual contact with said grandchild, A.C., by touching her genitals with his hands, <laughs> end quote. And so let me get this straight. You let your own daughter get pregnant at the age of 13, and then you turn around and let another child under your watch, i.e. your granddaughter, AC, get molested, uh, allegedly, at the same age of 13 years of age, and you out here stomping around like you've done something, screaming and hollering and holding a pep rally, telling people that your children and your grandchildren are safe. <laughs> All right, bye, Bishop. <laughs> you need to go sit down some damn where. And this evidence list produced by the district attorney in the criminal case clearly reveals that some of these alleged activities took place on this Bishop T.D. Jake's compound of so-called safety, listing 105 photographs taken from the guest house of this palatial estate, allegedly, as well as the three body cam video interviews of Sister Cora Jake's and Lady Sarita Jake's, allegedly. <laughs> And I would love to be a fly on the wall when they play this video of what Lady Sarita has to say about all of this and where the so-called watchdog was when all of this was going on while she's prancing around talking about legends and lilies, charging people money, acting like you're an expert of all of the right things to do when raising daughters. <laughs> so let me listen again, Bishop, to what you had to say, because maybe I heard you wrong, baby boy. <laughs> and if you want to see her be violent, jump me. I wish you would. She turns into somebody I have never experienced in my whole life. But I found out, let me tell you something, that female watchdog will bite you, she will attack you, she will go for your throat, and together our property is safe, our children are safe, our grandchildren are safe, our church is safe. <laughs> 
Okay, well, Lordy have mercy, honey child, Bishop. If y'all call this safe, I'll take the unsafe version. <laughs> but in the blessed name of Jesus, as y'all know on here, I just ask and report and I let you decide. So what do you think? Do you agree with Bishop Thomas Dexter Jakes? I mean, after the pregnancy of one 13 year old child 20 years ago and the alleged recent molestation of another 13 year old child, are his children and grandchildren really safe? <laughs> and would you leave your damn children alone in their custody over there at that Potter's House compound or at that Potter's House church. Please let me know by leaving your comments in the comment section below. And I hope you'll also give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you also consider donating to this video and my entire channel ministry, honey child, by donating to the Professor Blackmore.com Cash App. And I hope you'll also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified when I come back with more hot tea on this church house hot mess drama. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.